Hi friends, welcome to Biology Tutor. Today we are going to discuss about handling and transport of meat animals. If you like this channel, please share and subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell button for notifications. Pre-slaughter care of livestock. The transformation of slaughter animals into meat is a chain of events which includes handling and loading on the farm transport to the market, pens or slaughterhouse, offloading and holding and finally slaughter. During these procedures, poor operational techniques and facilities will lead to unnecessary suffering, injury, stress and loss of production. Adopting efficient and recommended pre-slaughter techniques will reduce stress in the animals and thus prevent quality deficiencies in meat and byproducts. It leads to increased quality of hides and skins and decreased mortality. Handling of livestock Avoid rough handling which can excite the animal. It takes up to 30 minutes for an animal to calm down and its heart rate to return to be normal after rough handling. Drawing aids used flat straps, rolled up plastic or newspaper, sticks with flags on or panels for pigs. For stubborn animals, electric powders or poor prods used to give an animal a mild electric shock. It is better than hitting animal with stick. Voltage use should not exceed 32 volt and never be used on sensitive parts. Ostrinches, a shepherd's crook around the neck is a useful leading aid or placing a hood over the head. Well constructed pens or platform for offloading and holding cattle should be maintained. Pens should have sufficient space. Yesterday we had already discussed about the about the pens, partitions, rails made of tubular iron, wood or concrete should be smooth and without projections such as hinges, broken ends or wire floors. Pen floors should be non-slip and have a gradient of not more than 1 is to 10. Raceways Races should be curved and with width of 76 cm for cattle. Transport of livestock. Transport affects adversely the condition of the animal and the consistency of the flesh. Different methods used to move animals are on hoof, by road, motor vehicle, by rail, on ship and by air. Different methods used to move animals are on hoof, by road motor vehicle, by rail, on ship and also by air. Cattle, by road motor vehicle. Sheep or goats, easiest to transport and travel well on hoof. Rail or road, double duck trucks are also suitable. Pigs are difficult animals to transport, transported by road. Poultry, broilers and other poultry such as turkeys or ducks are best transported by road. Plastic crates stacked on top of each other on a vehicle is used. Ostriches transported by road vehicle. Transport vehicles. Good ventilation should be there. Vehicles should never be totally enclosed as lack of ventilation will cause undue stress and even suffocation particularly if the weather is very hot. Pigs are particularly susceptible to excessive heat, poor air circulation, high humidity and respiratory stress. Floors Non-slip floors should be maintained. A grid of cross slating made from wood or metal. Floor space Sufficient floor space so that they can stand comfortably without being overcrowded. Roof. A roof is not necessary for bovines and small ruminants. Pigs should have roofs. Pigs should have roofs. 
sides the sides of vehicles should be high enough to prevent animals particularly pigs from jumping out portable ramp to facilitate emergency offloading preloading precautions cattle should be mixed in a pen 24 hours before loading pre mixing of cattle or pigs leads to greater familiarity and these animals travel better than animals that are strangers animals can be fed and watered before transporting pigs should not be fed before transport it can cause heart failure and death horned and hornless animals should not be mixed deceased injured emaciated or pregnant animals should not be transported different ways of transport trekking on foot cattle sheep and goats can be successfully moved on hoof grazing watering and overnight rest should be there should be maintained walk during the cooler times of the day a certificate of veterinary doctor that the animal is fit for transport must be obtained for clear transportation every animal shall be given a break of 20 minutes after being given water and a break of 1 hour after being given food species cattle sheep or goat sheep or goat one day journey in the case of cattle 30 km sheep 24 km more than one day first day 24 km in the case of cattle and subsequent days 22 km in the case of cattle in the case of uh, sheep first day 24 km and subsequent days 16 km the species of cattle maximum distance and maximum number of hours of walking in one day and period of rest and the next temperature range minimum or maximum this is according to the prevention of cruelty to animals transport of animals on food rules 2001 on road trucking only four adult cattle or six calves may be carried per small truck only 40 sheep or goats may be carried per truck animals must be accompanied by a veterinary certificate verifying that the animals are free from disease rail transport distances above 500 km animals should be provided ad lib water and feed at least for an hour before the journey commences boat or ship large and small cattle and animals of different species must be separated by partitions journey of 24 hour or more fed and watered before hand journey is of 36 hours duration they must be fed and watered in transit infections induced by transport you should remember these important infections it it may be asked for your exams transit fever or shipping fever what is transit fever or what is shipping fever it is also called pneumonic menhemiosis is a acute respiratory diseases that occur in cattle several days or weeks after shipment menhemia hemolytica causative agent is menhemia hemolytica formerly it is known as pasteurella hemolytica and uh, pasteurella maltosida and histophilus somni also cause these menhemiosis transit tetany or railroad sickness affects cows in late pregnancy it is caused by hypocalcemia and hypomagnesemia effects of transport poor transportation leads to significant loss of quality and production main problems are stress caused dft beef and pse pork heart failure occurs mostly in pigs when overfed prior to loading and transportation heat stroke pigs are susceptible to high environment temperatures and humidity sunburn exposure to sun affects pigs seriously dehydration animal subject to long distance travel without proper watering will suffer weight loss and may die loss of weight or shrinkage 
3 to 10 percentage depending on the conditions and duration of transport. Others, exhaustion, injuries, bruising, trampling, suffocation, blood, prediction and poisoning may happen. Meat quality, pale soft exudative meat generally in pig pH of 5.4 to 5.6, low water holding capacity, pale color and poor flavor. PSE in pigs is caused by severe short term stress just prior to slaughter that is during offloading, handling, holding in pens and stunning. Rest for one hour before slaughtering and quiet handling of pigs can reduce this. Dark firm and dry DFT meat generally in cattle and sheep. High pH value of the meat 6.4 to 6.8. Meat is darker and drier than normal and has a much firmer texture caused in animals that was stressed, injured or diseased before slaughtering. Both these conditions produce unattractive meat which is unacceptable to consumers and have poor cooking quality. Thank you. If you like this channel, please share and subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell button for notifications.